what's up guys this is Matt from Mike and Matt Taste Whiskey Mike's not here so I'm gonna film another uh, Mike's Away video um, two rules just like last time first rule is it's gotta be something I have not tasted yet the second rule is it's gotta be something that is already opened um, I'm not gonna open anything that Mike hasn't hasn't opened himself so come on back let's take a look um, so my last video uh, the old dusties are up here um, most of them aren't open. The ones that have been open, uh, we've already tasted. Um, so can't do any of those right now. Um, looking around, Tennessee whiskeys. I think I might shoot a video on that. Maybe like maybe on the next one. I see some bottles in there that I haven't tried yet. I do love Tennessee whiskey. So uh, maybe next time. Moving right along here. Um, you guys caught my last video uh, old 1889 Royal is what I tasted um, I really like the label uh, when I tried it I wasn't impressed I didn't really like it that much funny story is that this past week I went to a bottle shop um, and they had this exact bottle and I want to say it was like three or four hundred dollars so um, I consider myself lucky to be able to try things before I buy them um, it's good to know Mike Beach as they all say so let's get into something that I want to try um, and I've been looking at these bottles for a while I haven't tried them yet it's this uh, I think it's a wild turkey product it's a whiskey barons collection um, WB Safil maybe is the name I'm not sure how to pronounce it it's a cool bottle but the one I really like and I just love the way this bottle looks this is old rippy isn't that a cool bottle Look at that label. That label's awesome. Alright, I think we're going to try this one. Let's go give it a taste. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's give this one a shot. Um, let's go ahead and read everything on this label. I like to get to know my bottle. Um, Old Rippy, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, non-chill filtered. Batch number one, 52% alcohol, which means it's 104 proof. Distilled with the utmost care in Anderson County, Kentucky. All right, on the back, I've got a little bit of reading here. I love it when you get a little bit of history with your bottle. Hailing from County Tyrone, James Rippey left Ireland in 1830 and settled in Anderson County, Kentucky. In 1839, after renouncing his allegiance to Queen Victoria, Rippey became a naturalized American citizen. He opened a distillery that produced Old Rippey Bourbon in 1868. Batch number one is a tribute to the style and consistency of the original Old Rippy Bourbon with a complex delivery of oak, toffee, and spice. The rich family history is enshrined in the elegant Queen Anne style Rippy Mansion in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. All right, let's get a bit of info there. Let's see how it tastes. All right, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, I probably did. This is part of the Whiskey Barons Collection um, which was released by Wild Turkey. Uh, so this nose this one. I mean, I could smell it as soon as like I poured it. I could smell the deliciousness that's coming off of this. I think the second time might be the charm. I think this is going to be a good one. All right, it's sweet. I mean, caramel, vanilla, like berries, lemons. Cereal grains? Dude, I love when I can pick out some cereal grains because I know I know that's going to be a good one. All right. Let's give it a taste. It does not disappoint. This is a really good bottle. Um, vanilla, caramel. I mean, I'm getting those berries. I'm getting that lemon. Um, the oak is just sitting back there, just hanging out. I mean, from, you know, front to back, this is just really, really good stuff. Um, yeah, like, this might be one of my favorite things I've tasted. Honestly, this is really, really good. Uh, good job, Matt, this time. Yeah. 
Yeah, those berries are prevalent. It's kind of fruity one. I think, I think looking at the, uh, the amount that's been drank, um, if you look at that collection and how much bourbon's in there, uh, not a lot of stuff makes it halfway down. This one's over halfway, so I think it's safe to say old Mike here really enjoyed this. All right, let's try it with the crayon. So as Mike says, what we do in these videos, taste it neat, of course, get the sugars from the crayon and see how it changes the flavor. This is, this is good. Um, it's one of those rare occasions. It doesn't happen often, uh, for my palate anyway, that the, the sugars in the crayon actually bring out more sweetness and more fruit. Um, so yeah, it's like cherry, lemon, berry. And it's almost like a, a, a lemonade that you get that, you know, is flavored with like a blackberry or raspberry lemonade, um, which I really like. Um, I really like it with the crayon. I think I like it neat more because um, it did kind of like kind of kill the finish a little bit. Um, but it is still really good like up front. Um, but I would definitely so far go neat over crayon. Um, so I prefer the neat. Let's try it with the pecan. Let's get the tannins. Um, so what the pecan does is it's going to give you those tannins and it's going to bring out Usually for me, like a, a richer, more chocolatey kind of thing. Let's see what happens. Oh man, that is good. That is good. It did bring out chocolate. Chocolate caramel chew. What's it? Charleston chew. Remember those candies? Really good stuff. Um, man, and it's, it's rich and thick and the oak is just sitting there. Like it, that finish is spicy. I mean, like a white pepper spice, maybe even a hint of cinnamon in there. Um, and just rich, rich oak and tobacco. Um, man, just through and through, this is just a really, really good bottle. Um, I'm glad I picked it because man, I'm enjoying it. And I hope if they still make it, I'll definitely be picking up a bottle. If I can find one online, I'll definitely pick it up. Um, like I said, I don't know much about it uh, besides what I read on the label. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys can find this one, I would say get it because it's really, really good. Um, all right, y'all. Cheers. Keep drinking.